Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be talking about the div tag and how it's used in HTML. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so a div tag is a division um, on an HTML document. It is a container that can house HTML elements. You can use all different types of content inside of the div tags, and then you can style them with CSS or manipulate them with JavaScript. And so I'm going to show you an example, and I'm going to show you how to nest divs or boxes, that's what we're going to call them, inside of one another. So let's go ahead and get started with that code. Okay, so I went ahead and opened a new project in PyCharm, and I went ahead and created a index.html file and then a style.css file. And those are the two files that we're going to use. And then I went ahead and linked my style sheet right here, like we learned before, to my HTML document. And so when I start adding styles to my divs, then um, it'll already be connected. So inside of my body tag, I went ahead and created my first div tag right here. And as you can see, it's just div. Now, because we are gonna be creating multiple divs and we're gonna have boxes nested inside of each other, then I want to name each one of these divs. And so I'm gonna give them an ID. So this first one, when I want to differentiate between the different um, divs, then I'm going to give it an ID or like a name. So this ID is going to equal box one. Okay, so this will be my first box. And as you can see, when I run my code over here in the browser, nothing shows up. And the reason why nothing shows up is because I have to add CSS to this first box. So I have to add the height and the width. And if I want it to be a color or whatever content I want to be inside, I need to put in here because right now it's just an invisible container in my browser. So if I go over to CSS, now that I've labeled this box one, what I'm going to do is when I'm trying to grab this div with this ID of box one, I have to say hashtag box one. So when we're using an ID, we have to say hashtag box one. Let me zoom in so you can see. So hashtag box one. So in box one, I want the width to be 400 pixels. And then I want the height to also be 400 pixels because I want it to be a box. And then I'm going to choose a background color. And again, you can choose literally whatever color you would like. Okay, I'm going to save that. Save, and then I'm going to refresh over here in my browser. And as you can see, now I have this box or container here in the browser. So if I wanted something inside of it, I could say H1. This is box one and save it and refresh. And then as you can see, now it's labeled, this is box one. Okay, great. So now I'm gonna repeat the steps, but I'm gonna change the size of the boxes. And then I'm also gonna keep the div tags, the upcoming div tags inside of this initial div tag because I want the boxes to be nested inside of each other. And I know that sounds like a whole lot, but it'll make sense as I code along here, okay? So after my H1 tag, I'm gonna hit enter, and then I wanna create a new div. And I'm gonna say div ID, oops, ID equals, and this one is gonna be called box two. And I'm just gonna hit enter right here. I'm going to save and now I'm going to go back to CSS. And so just like I did before, this has an ID of box two. So to grab that so I can style it, I'm going to say hashtag box two. And inside I'm going to do a width and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so it's nested inside. So I'm going to say 300 pixels and then I'm going to have a height of 300 pixels. 
then I'm gonna choose a, another background color, any color, doesn't matter. I'm gonna save this and then refresh. And so now I have another container and I'm gonna put an H1 tag inside and I'm gonna call it box two and save, refresh. So now you say, see that this says, this is box one, this is box two. All right, we're gonna keep repeating this step. So now I'm gonna do div ID. I'm gonna say box three. Have, now I have box three and then I have an H1 tag inside that says this is box three. So now I'm gonna go again to my style sheet. I'm gonna say hashtag box three. I'm gonna do a width this time of 200 pixels. Oops. A height of 200 pixels. And I'm gonna choose another background color. I'm gonna save that, refresh, and see now I have a third box inside of my other box. All right, so let's just do one more so we can kind of see what that'll look like. All right, so I'm gonna do this again, div ID. So the name of this box is gonna be box four. Inside, I'm gonna put an H1 tag. This is box four. Nothing shows up yet because I need to go add the height and width of the box and then the color that I want. So I'm gonna choose box four. I'm gonna say width, 100 pixels. Height, 100 pixels. And then I'm gonna choose a new background color. Save, refresh, and now this says this is box four. So this is just a cool way to show um, how divs work and what they are and then that you can also put things inside of the div. So you could put pictures, you could put videos, different um, titles, all sorts of things. And you will continuously see divs um, as you are working. I am going to link some more resources below so that you can keep practicing with divs and also check out my coding challenge on um, aligning divs and changing the colors of them and getting them centered and I'll link that as well. Thanks for tuning in and please subscribe to my channel to check out more coding tutorial videos.